Hello, my name is Mike Spenz. I'm a Technical Territory Manager of SolidWorks for the West Area. And today we'll be discussing how SolidWorks Electrical can be used in conjunction with SolidWorks Enterprise PDM to control and manage and share your SolidWorks Electrical design content. The first important point to understand is that SolidWorks Electrical is a management tool for the SolidWorks Electrical project. Multiple users can collaborate on any given project, working on different sheets, working in 3D, and all of these changes are tracked by SolidWorks Electrical, including use of devices from schematic sheet to schematic sheet and even to 3D, keeping track of the library of components used in a bill of materials, the cables, the wires, etc. However, at some point, the SolidWorks Electrical content like the schematics and the reports uh, need to be shared with a larger audience, uh, with those that may not have access to SolidWorks Electrical directly. And for those customers who are using Enterprise PDM as their primary data management system, it makes sense to have that data shared there. And SolidWorks Electrical is already designed and built to publish content directly to Enterprise PDM. So during this presentation, we'll be talking about three main topics. Uh, how SOLIDWORKS Electrical provides schematic control with Enterprise PDM, 3D control of those 3D models that are utilized with the SOLIDWORKS Electrical project, as well as mechanical models that are referenced by those, and how does that apply when design changes come down, whether it's a schematic design change or a mechanical design change that needs to interact with those electrical 3D models. So let's begin by talking about schematic control. We'll look at how to publish content into Enterprise PDM with the simple, easy to use one button publishing option. Now in this example, I've already built out a project to begin, project 0027, and it has several different drawings uh, that do all of the interconnects of the safety gate that we saw in the earlier images. Within the SOLIDWORKS electrical interface, there are simple tools to configure how SOLIDWORKS Electrical publishes to the Enterprise PDM vault on your system to make it easy for users. So that in one shot, they can check in all of their project data. You specify which vault to use, where does your project data reside in the vault, and what format naming convention is used for the different types of output that can be produced from SOLIDWORKS Electrical, whether they're PDFs, whether they're SOLIDWORKS models or DWG files, or reports from your uh, projects. Another important output type is the project archive. Now this is essentially a zipped package of all of the drawings, the symbols, the manufacturer's parts, the databases, and all of the different documents you might need so that you have a point to return back to if you need to um, revert to an old version. Now that setup makes it very easy for the user to do one batch check-in of everything in the project without having to do them individually. However, if that's the intent and you would rather individually check in documents or drawings or reports, from the Import-Export tab, you can publish out uh, DWGs, e-drawings, PDFs, Excel reports, etc. For this demonstration example, We'll assume that the user has just created a new project and would like to check in what they've produced so far. Now the first step is to close the project and go to the project manager. Select the given project and check it in. You'll be prompted if you're using the check in check out option to confirm whether the project is still in progress and it will be shown as checked out in the vault or whether the project is complete and it's ready to be removed from the active project list in SOLIDWORKS Electrical. In this case, we're in progress still. We'll monitor the SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM project folder to see the changes happening. And as the check-in process proceeds, new folders are created under my project 27 folder under designs in my vault. The first thing we'll watch for are the published schematics.
the first version of the full schematic has automatically been checked in and it's still marked as checked out by the user who did the operation in the first place. And of course the resulting schematic package has all the sheets that were in the project, revision table information on one sheet, line diagram information, and the other schematic sheets with their incorporated hyperlinks between devices. Now back in the SOLIDWORKS Electrical Project Manager, the EPDM status of Project 0027 shows that it's currently checked out. This means that it's in Enterprise PDM, but is still in progress. So for schematic control, we have simple one-step publishing for the user with a pre-configured check-in so that all the related documents can be published to Enterprise PDM in one shot. Next, let's talk a little bit about 3D control. The ability to use existing models that the mechanical designers may have produced, how to use EPDM assembly naming if you'd like to use a, a part number from EPDM for your new electrical models, and how SOLIDWORKS Electrical produces independent electrical models that help keep performance fast on the mechanical side. So let's go back to our project folder and in the Electrical Models folder, I'd like to use EPDM to create a new SOLIDWORKS assembly using an EPDM serial number. I'll add some description. And you can fill out any other metadata that it's appropriate for Enterprise PDM and just create the file. Now we're also going to go ahead and copy that file name. Now back in SOLIDWORKS Electrical, now this can be done either on the schematic side or from SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D. We're going to go into our cabinet layout tool and create a SOLIDWORKS assembly for the top level electrical model. So we have our new electrical model created and the key is to use the same name as the Enterprise PDM file. So we're going to simply rename the file and paste in the Enterprise PDM generated serial number. So now when the project is checked in, this assembly will also be checked in and tied to the assembly that's already linked into EPDM. Now let's work in SOLIDWORKS for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the same project that's currently in use by another user. And open up the newly created SOLIDWORKS model. Now there are devices that need to be added to this, but also the basic mechanical model that's been produced earlier. So we'll use SOLIDWORKS to find that mechanical model. It's in the same project 0027 in the vault, and this is the assembly that we want to place. Now there are several existing mechanical parts and electrical parts. The mechanical designers have done some work to add in some motors, a card reader, um, the drive device, and some lights to control the system. Now those have associated electrical references as well. Now if we would like to make an association between these, it's simply right-clicking on a device from the electrical tree and associating it with an existing SOLIDWORKS model. The next step is to start adding other electrical devices that are not yet in the SOLIDWORKS model itself. For example, we'll start with some plugs. Now SOLIDWORKS Electrical can also be configured so that these devices and components are being referenced from Enterprise PDM. So this component here is actually a component that resides in the PDM vault. So it's controlled continue to insert some of those other plugs in this example. And there's also a place for a plug up on our card reader. SOLIDWORKS mate references on your 3D components make this process a snap.
After adding some of these 3D components and inserting our primary mechanical assembly into our SOLIDWORKS electrical project, we may choose to check it in now to keep track of what we're doing so far. Simply close the electrical project and then use the project manager right from within SOLIDWORKS to run that check-in operation. We're still not finished, but we'd like to see those changes and communicate those changes back to our mechanical designers. Now that the project has been checked in again, we can review our results and we have our newly checked in version of the assembly model using our Enterprise PDM generated part number and also referencing that same description. But now we have our changes. We can also use Enterprise PDM to report the bill of materials of all the referenced parts. So using a simple check-in operation, we can facilitate collaboration between our electrical and mechanical teams by sharing all of the 3D components in Enterprise PDM. Next, and of course this is the important part, what happens when there are design changes? We'll start our changes in SOLIDWORKS by routing some of our cables. To make this process simpler, SOLIDWORKS Electrical provides tools to create routing paths so that the cables know where to run in the system between uh, the posts. Now these posts already have some guidelines created in them to make this process easier as well. For example, there's already a guide in this post so that the cables will know where to run. So let's use SOLIDWORKS Electrical to route our cables. With all of our cables routed, we now have accurate cable lengths reported back to SOLIDWORKS Electrical Project. Now if we could take a quick look at the EPDM structure. Our mechanical design is coming from EPDM, but one of the components, the railing and posts, has been changed by a user. We can see that our project is showing a file that's out of date. There's likely a newer version there. And there is a requirement to move the flapper gates back to get better access for a user coming into line here to get through the security gate. So I can simply use Enterprise PDM to get the latest version of that component to see the changes. And I can see that the security gates have moved back. So how has that changed our cables? If we hide the two sides, we can see that the cables have lengthened because these two motors have also moved back. Now because the cables have lengthened, we can also tell SOLIDWORKS Electrical to update the values in the database, to update the wire and cable lengths in the reports. So now we've used Enterprise PDM and SOLIDWORKS Electrical together to help us update the mechanical design as well as the cable lengths. Now let's continue with some schematic changes. Our schematic has some cable connection tables that indicate the pin-to-pin -pin connections between cable cores from one connector to the other, including wires and lengths. We need a similar connection table for connector P6, so we'll simply copy and paste the existing table. Then simply associate it to connector P6. We now have very accurate reporting for both connectors. That includes the detail of the different cable lengths. We're now ready to check in our changes. Simply close the electrical project and again use the check in from the project manager. And in this case, we'll say that the project is complete and ready to move on. The project is removed from the active projects in the project manager and the models in Enterprise PDM have been checked in with the owner removed. And now we have an accurate bill of materials. We also have our updated 
schematic. Showing the updates to the new project sheet, including the updated lengths for those cables. Now that they're in Enterprise PDM, any of the output can be moved through approvals through the SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM workflow process as needed. During the check-in process, reports can also be generated in various formats like Excel, text, and comma-separated values of bills of materials, list of cables and wires, or any other report needed. When you're ready to start the change process, you can simply check out a SOLIDWORKS electrical project from the vault by browsing to the archive. SOLIDWORKS Electrical knows to check out all other related documentation and load that project into the active SOLIDWORKS Electrical Project Manager. So when design changes happen, SOLIDWORKS Electrical connected to SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM helps you avoid errors and design mistakes by making your content visible to all users involved. So in summary, SOLIDWORKS Electrical with Enterprise PDM through the schematic control helps users with one-step publishing and simple pre-configured check-in operations, helps streamline that process. It helps control your 3D models and helps facilitate collaboration between your teams. And when design changes come, it helps to avoid errors and design mistakes and allows you to version control all of that content through Enterprise PDM.